Hello, everyone. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Pacific Drive, shall we? The embargo just broke about 28 minutes ago, so I decided let's give it a roll. Morgan, good to see you, my friend. I have already played about 30 minutes of this game, which you will see in a previous video, and I'm picking up the stream right here after that initial progress. This is my station wagon. We've repaired it somewhat, and now we have a bunch of different quests that we need to do. So we need to select a destination using the map on the wall. We need to collect materials for an antenna. We also need to search this dumpster. So let's dumpster dive a bit, and I'm just going to search it up. Have you found the friendly dumpster yet? It's behind the shop. If you're ever in dire need, pay it a visit. As much as the zone takes away, sometimes she also provides. All right, then. So I did search it, and um, I paid it a visit. I didn't see anything in here. Um, friendly dumpster. So maybe every once in a while, it just fills up with stuff, is what she's saying. And I can get parts out of it. Let's go check out the destination map. lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. Mm. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. Makes sense. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. That seems important. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Cool. So I just installed this arc device. Now, if it were me, of course, I would just stay in the pocket of stability forever. Um, you know, because... It seems scary out there, but let's just be adventurous. All right, and... Hey, Screaming Scarab. How's it going, my friend? I haven't heard of that. Um, thank you so much for letting me know about it. Sounds fun. I do love Kenshi. All right, so uh, we need to plan the route and... S oh, I need to still select the destination. I didn't do that yet. So I have to then go over here and then say this is my destination. I selected it. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. All right. So there's our route. And it says right here for the route analysis. Let's just take a look at this. We're going to a radio station through the damp forest. It's residential. Um, the junction conditions are perpetual stability. That sounds great. Everything on the route looks pretty good. Uh except for the last icon is missing, but that's okay. Having that many things say okay is good. Let's do it. Hey, Jamnuska. How's it going, my friend? I normally don't stream during the daylight, but I got early access to this game and uh, wanted to check it out. I believe it come full release for Pacific Drive is on the 22nd, and... Uh, I'm able to kind of get into it now. So I wanted to play it today on the early access. All right. So let's see. We need to turn on the car. Seems important. Um, the arc device is set, I believe. And let me see. Are you, are you ready to go? Stable... Uh, I think this will just update, maybe. We'll see how that goes. And I need to shift it into uh, drive. We are in drive, and let's go. All right. So if I look at this... Uh, oh, my God. 
This looks horrifying. Uh, are my lights on? Wipers. There's the lights. Okay, great. Ian's. All right, let's go this way. Here's the road. I guess we'll take a left. Warning. High R levels facility extreme caution advised. Further inquiries directed to gate C2B. Oh, okay. Sure, I'll just head over there. Oh, you know what? I think um, one of my doors is open. That actually might be the trunk because I don't have anything closing it. So that's bad. It is the trunk. It's telling me that. My health is low, but it looks like it's as good as I can get it. I'm going to check out the, uh, this and say, where is this where you want me to go? Um, show legend. Exit road. Waypoint. Arrival road. Gateway. Mm, all right. Kara, how's it going? I haven't been able to figure that out much myself yet because I'm not far enough in the game, but um, I always like armor. All right, I'm going this way. Am I going the right way? I plotted the route. I kind of thought that this would tell me more in a more obvious way, like which way to go, but maybe it doesn't work like that. Uh, okay, so we're leaving the stability zone. Oh, God. Was that... Oh, okay, it does work like that. You just have to get to the edge. Okay, cool. So now I see what I need to do. Alright, so I'm going to go over here, and this is my route. And now do I just automatically travel it? Is that what goes on here? And then it just does some damage to me or something? Hey, Chef Smitty. Good, good, good morning, my friend. Yes, this game does look awesome. I'm really excited to play it. Uh, we are in the residential damp forest outer zone. All right. So no, it just... Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. Okay, there we go. Overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. All right, so we need plasma. And we need to find and scan um, a plasma generator. And we need to replace parts and gather and craft. So I'm going to drive this way. So now everything is making sense. The um, arc device is actually showing me the route, which I expected. I was just in the um, other zone, so it wasn't going to show me. But there's some houses up ahead. Let's go check that out. Uh, okay, let's go see. I got the lights on. I'm using them. All right. Yeah, that looks like something. Device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Yeah, it looks like it. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator, and it'll figure out the tools you need. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. Kara, thank you. That sounds ominous. All right, I'm gonna uh, turn off the car and put it in park and then hop out. All right, so I got my headset and uh, I'm zooming in. I don't really remember how to use my ahem headset, but maybe it does that automatically. Oh no, you hold left bumper, there we go. Um, sodium vapor light. Plasma generator. There it is. Uh, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. That's a good question, Chef Smitty. Honestly, they all work fine. Uh, Discord's the easiest for me to see, but you could do it on 
any of them. Uh, let's see. So I need to use my impact hammer, which is not what I have. Um, open headset. OS. Uh, here we go. And blueprints. Impact hammer. Pin it to the checklist. We need this to take stuff apart, apparently. We'll find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. All right, loot away, she says. All right, so that's what we're doing. Look at you, out in the zone, all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Hazmat cabinet. Um, I have almost everything I need. Hazmat cabinet. Open it, I guess. Gas cylinder. Sweet. Okay. Uh, take it. That's all the stuff I need to craft the hammer. Um, now, I'm wondering... If like so first of all this game gives you such good survival crafting vibes you know I, I feel a, like I said in the first 30 minutes of the game there's a bit of um, you know long dark in this what you got take it all alright so now let me see if I can craft right away I have every... No, I don't have the gears. Never mind. I lied about that. Um, I think I've searched everything in here. So I wonder hey, if I uh, just... Uh, driver, I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. How can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's <laughs> mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No uh. one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle and the tea that came out. And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. All right. So we're back. I'm just going to make this a video. And uh, apparently the live streaming embargo hadn't lifted, but you could post video content of the game, which is a... Uh, not really familiar with that kind of separate embargo deal, but here we are. So, uh, let's go ahead and craft the impact hammer. I have to refine materials from scrap metal, so it's cool to let you actually just make the stuff. There we go. I made it. So now I have an impact hammer that I can use to smash the plasma generator. That sounds safe. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I broke it.
Oh, I didn't mean to hold it, but yeah. There you go. Okay, so I got one plasma out of this thing. And this person might have another uh, plasma generator too. I see something. What is this? Sodium vapor light. Uh, nah, that's just a light, but let's go inside their house. This looks cool. Uh, it's a little dark in here. Can I make a flashlight? Ceiling kit, headlight, gear, first aid kit. Um, no, I can't. I mean, I could put a flare in here, I guess. I can just light it and hold it. Here we go. Um, what is this guy? This has all of this in it, so I'm just going to... Um, take it. And then there's a radio. And I could use the scrapper to get the radio stuff. Got it. And we got a bunch of stuff from it. Electronics. Looks like I dropped my flare, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, we need to fix it with a pry bar. So I don't have a pry bar, so I need to get one, basically. So let's see about crafting a pry bar, shall we? I mean, I don't think I have one. No, I do. Yeah, equip it. Assign it to a quick slot. Here you go. Never mind. I thought I had one. Yeah, number four. There you go. Never mind. I'm... Pry it open. And we got chemicals. Again, it's hard to see. I could just light up a flare. All right, what's in here? Chemicals. Anything else? They've got a little bathroom. Poster. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I want to try to get in here. Unless this is like, uh, supply containers. I mean, I got information about that in my log, but I think that's it. All right, sweet. We need more plasma, though. Oh, there's some houses over here. Let's go check it out. Crude panel. All right. Uh, the trunk has a flare, which we know I need that. Oh, do I not have any space for this? It looks like I actually don't. Alright, you know what? I'm going to have to put some stuff away in my trunk. Oh, I'm burning all of my flares. Here, stop doing that. It it re-gives you a flare, which is cool, but I didn't mean for that to happen here. Go ahead and um, drop in... Uh, I mean... I'll try to transfer as much of this regular stuff as I can. I could put the repair putty in here. I think I'll only need that occasionally. Um, is there a sort your inventory kind of a thing? No, 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 don't give me this back. I was just gonna move it around, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. Rearrange, yeah, 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 put it over here and then rearrange and put this uh, can I rotate you? Yeah. 
There you go. That looks pretty responsible. Now the scrapper... Is its durability bad? Or what's the heart mean? Like, my ability to use it? I'm not sure. Alright, I'm going to run over here. And we've got a vehicle. And I can... S a wrecked car. Crude panel. I think I could scrap it. Got the stuff. Great. Yeah, I mean, we want to scrap everything. Okay, great. Ah, uh, there's a tire. We got plastic, rubber. Okay, yeah, we need all of this stuff. I'd like to try to make a, a door or something. Mm -hmm. My, oh, it broke. Okay. So that's what I was looking at with the durability of it. And I want to check my own durability. And, you know, it could just be because of the instability. Like, I don't know if that's what affects it, but that whole thing broke. So I need to try to make another one. I think I left my headlights on, which was not wise. And make another scrapper. So I can make that pretty easily. I can make a mechanics kit um, to fix my car. The repair putty... Ceiling kit. Alright. Um, like, let me look at my car. So, for, for right now, this panel is doing okay, but um, I wonder if I want to make a better one or how I would even do that. Oh, no, 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 put it back on there, sorry. I didn't mean to take it off. Um, Alright, there is no panel right here, so we need to make one, basically. So can I make, like, the panel? Let's see about this. So I made a panel, and then can I put it up here? There. Sure. You know what I mean? Um, and then I'm missing a door back here, but I don't know if I can actually... I don't have a bumper. That's not good. So let's go ahead and see what else I can make. Um, I can't make much of this because I need... Now, how's my tire? It's not great. This is just a spare tire. I might want better than a spare tire back there. The summer tires... I need to fix my durability on these with maybe, like, the, uh... Well, the mechanics kit... I need the ceiling kit for that. Alright, anyway. Uh, we can destroy this guy. It says it's locked. Oh, I'm using the impact hammer. That's the wrong thing. Well, that actually opened it, which is funny. Is there anything in here? Am I, like, looking at... Maybe it's just empty because it's not letting me, you know, take anything. Oh, there is some gas. Can I take this? What do you do? You don't scrap it, do you? No, I think you would just, like... Uh... No, I didn't mean to do that. Here, pick this up. How do I take you? 
fuel tank. No, that's... Uh, well... I know there's a way to do this. Oh, this is a good tire. That's no, medical flare. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I know I could scrap this anyway. And then, let's see, anything new that I can make? I need another headlight. No wonder my lights aren't very bright. Well, let's make the bumper. And then let's make, uh, how do I make a headlight? I need some more road flares. Wow. Make the ceiling kit. And then can I use the ceiling kit on this oh no no okay here put that back on um equip it now the ceiling kit isn't really what you use it's nothing is happening when i try to use it Uh, maybe I just didn't understand what the ceiling kit was for. Maybe there is no hole. It's just saying, like, this tire is not very good. But this one has full durability. Well, anyway. Um, let's go ahead and put a bumper on. There we go. Now look at this car. It's got a bumper. And can I put on a door on this thing? I don't know if I figured that out yet. We could make another panel for back here if possible. Now I don't know if this repair putty will actually work, but I'm going to go in here. And what I'm going to do is... Um, transfer this and I'll try to use repair putty on the tires and see if that has anything to do with it. Yeah, you can repair the tire this way. It just doesn't really repair the... Uh The ceiling kit isn't the right thing. All right. Well, we're getting there. I mean, I'm starting to understand, you know, what things I need to use. I'm going to put this away. And I am going to just open the car really quickly because I need to turn out the headlights. I don't want to waste it. I don't know if it does waste it, but I don't want to waste it. All right, so we got a house over here, a couple of houses, and I need to get more plasma. And I don't know about you, but I'm having an absolute blast with this game. So apologies to uh, the publishers and developers of Pacific Drive uh, because I streamed it a little bit beyond when I should have uh, or early, uh, misunderstood the embargo. But thank you for making such a great game. I'm going to continue posting the video content because... Oh my gosh, what's that? Look at that thing. It's like a robot. I can continue posting video content because that doesn't violate the embargo. And 
The live stream embargo will drop tomorrow, and I might live stream the game next week, but my schedule is already pretty much set for the moment. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll check in the next one. If, let me know how you feel about this game so far. Are you playing it? Um, have you played the demo? Are you excited about this? Do you have any tips and tricks for me that you've seen from other creators? I'd love to know. Thank you so much. Take care.